approved. Good evening. My name is Deputy Olin. I'm with the Sheriff's Office, yes. and this is being recorded. Do you have your license, registration, and insurance with I you? I do. Um, I'm going to have to turn off my car and open the glove box. Totally okay. Any weapons in the vehicle I need to know about? Yeah. Was, no. it, was it because I turned before um, the person walked over? Was Not here to talk to you about that. The issue is you turned into the wrong lane at the intersection there. You turn into the nearest the lane. lane. Yep, you got to go to the nearest lane, always at an intersection. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you guys going here? Is this where you're... We're just getting Taco Bell. We so why'd you pull in here? Yes. No, why did you pull in here? Oh, oh, well, I don't know. It was the first place for me to turn over. So which way are you supposed to pull over when the I lights are I was going to pull towards um, Taco Bell, but I... Because... You, Okay. Sorry. That's not my question. When, which direction are you supposed to pull when they're red and blue lights on? To the right. I'm so sorry. And you went I don't summer. get pulled over after. I'm well, that's good, I suppose. No, yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just in here somewhere. No. It's a good one. Yeah. And I'm sure he wants a case. I'm so sorry. Okay. And then try this like things. Here you go. Is your first name? Do you have two first names or two middle names? I have two middle names. Oh, okay. two is my two middle okay. names. Okay. Mia, have you had anything to drink tonight? No. When was the last time you consumed alcohol? Well, it's about an hour ago, but I took a salsa. Okay. So well, that's that beer, that's seltzer, liquor. Yeah, seltzer. It was How a much? Chili. Okay, so you, did you stop drinking about an hour ago, basically? Yeah, an hour ago, yeah. Okay, how much have you had to drink throughout the evening? Just two. Two seltzers. Two seltzers. Yes. Is it more than... Here's the deal. If you're honest with me, it helps me do my job better. It's one shot and one seltzer. So I'm one consider that two That's two drinks. Yeah. So one shot. Two drinks. So I'm was, this, was the shot a single or a double? Single. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel like you're okay to drive? Yes, 100%. I would never drive under the influence. Well, I get a little worried when people are driving after they've had two drinks. It's, it's not good. Yes. So but I wait like over an hour before I drive. And okay. then I eat food, too. Food has nothing to do with it. Do you know you need to wait about two hours per drink before you can drive? Oh, okay. So you waited about 30 minutes per drink. In, here's the deal. In this situation, I'd ask if you'd be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety tests. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Hop on out for me. We can, get, we can do that right here. Let me turn off my lights. Okay. So they're not flashing. Hop on out for me. Yeah. So I am in my swimsuit because we're in the hot tub. Okay. Do you have jacket. pants on? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Does your See, Does I your coat swimsuit. cover you? Would you like me to put my pants on? If you have, have pants, yeah. On, but, yeah. I, I understand. If you If you have pants, I put some pants on. It's a little chilly. <laughs> Did you bring pants with you? Yeah. Yeah. Here's a light. Oh, all right. Yeah. Put some pants on. It's not warm out here. All right. Yeah. That's totally okay. I'm so sorry about the lane part. Well, okay. I'm, I can forgive you for that. I just want to make sure you're driving safely. You got a hot tub at your place? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. And then you need some Taco Bell. I yeah, gotcha. We're just getting Taco Bell before we go like, sleep, but we are completely sober. Okay. All right. Let me turn these off so they're not in your face. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Just stand right there by your bumper. I'm going to meet you over there. Okay. Mia, these tests are voluntary. I'm not meaning to shine that in your face. No. Tests are voluntary. They can be stopped at any time. Yes. Uh, first thing I'd ask you, do you have anything to keep you from walking or balancing? Um, no. Do you have any injuries? One no. leg shorter than the no. other? No. Nothing no. like that. No. Okay. Are you on any medications that you should be driving with? No. Any marijuana? No. Any other drugs you're not supposed to be taking? No. Okay. Just the two, one Just shot and one seltzer from over an hour ago. Totally understand. So, can you stand with your feet just like there? Hands right at your side. Can you see the tip of my pen right here? Yep. Do you wear contact lenses or glasses? Okay. Or do you wear contact lenses or glasses? Oh, I don't. I don't. So. Okay. Follow the tip of the pen where my fingers move. Follow with your eyes and don't move your head. Does that make sense? Okay.
If you need to blink, feel free to blink as much as you need. Can I blink? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a joke. No, you're doing just but fine. This is my first time doing I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Keep your hands at your side for me. Yeah. There you go. You're doing just fine. Try to keep your eye right here. My finger's moving. Fall. Not my light, the pen right here, okay? Okay. Sorry, I'm scared. No, you're doing just fine. Okay. I'm just trying to remind you. Some I'm people. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. okay. Come on, go up. Okay. No, you're doing just fine. Okay. okay. Is this a, the amount of alcohol you consume tonight? Is this a large amount of alcohol for you? No. Compared to what you normally drink? No. Okay. But like I do two, and that's pretty much it. Two, and that's pretty but much. I don't typically like to get completely tipsy or drunk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me, uh, let's do this. Let's stand up here where it's a little flatter. Okay. Uh, let's just take a couple steps right here where my flashlight's at. Can you stand right there where my flashlight's at? The cop? Yep. yep. No, right here, and then turn it back around and face me. Right downhill. This is about the flattest spot we got here. Okay, and then just kind of put my foot in front of it? Or... Let me give you some instructions first, okay. okay? So what I'd like you to do is imagine a straight line out in front of you okay. towards my uh, police car. What I'd like you to do on that straight line, put your left foot on that line and put your right foot in front, touching your heel to your toe. All the way to the car? Nope, just the, what, do what I'm d telling you right now. Put your right foot in front and stay there. Oh, okay. Can you keep your hands at your side for me? Now I want you to stay in this position until I tell you to start. Does that make sense? Okay. When I tell you to begin, what I'd like you to do is take nine heel to toe steps down your line. Nine? Okay. No, don't start yet. Don't start yet. When I tell you to begin, it's going to be nine heel to toe steps. Heel touching your toe each step. Look at your toes. Count out loud with your hands at your side. It's going to look just like this. Okay. One, two, three. I took three. I ran out of room. You're going to take nine. Does that make sense? Nine. Right. On the ninth step, leave that front foot planted like mine is. Step out with your back foot. Take nice. a series of small steps. Turn around that front foot. And nine more back the way you came. Okay. Hands at your side. One, two, three. I took three. How many are you going to take? Um, nine down. Nine, nine down. down. Put it on side by and, side and then turn it around. And you're going to take nine steps yes. back. Okay. Do you, want Do you have any out? questions before you get started? No. Okay, Just nine, nine down, and then turn as I... Turn around? Yep. yep, and then nine more back. Okay. Okay, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. Okay, you want me to count out loud? I do. Okay, one. Testing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, step out, one, two, three. Step to call 13, I'm out testing. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, took 10 down and 10 back. Okay, for this next one, I don't care if you're standing this way or you're standing sideways, wherever you feel the most balanced, side to side. You Try turning 90 degrees, try facing just straight downhill. Does that feel better? This is probably straight downhill if you face towards me this way. Like just walking towards you? Nope, you're just going to balance right there. Oh. How does that feel? You stable? Yeah. Okay. So for this... It's shaking because I'm scared. But that, and it's cold. I'm glad you put on some pants. Sorry. It's just my legs shaking. Let me... My radio person is trying to get a hold of me. Just stay right here for one second. Yeah. yeah. Step to Paul 13. I'm code 4 testing. All right, man. Sorry. They were yelling in my ear. Is this like a protocol? Or? Yep. Any, when, after you've had alcohol to drink and you've been driving, this is the test I have to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, over an hour ago. Yep. Okay. So face this way. Okay. And we can, whichever way you feel the most stable, totally up to you. So what I'd like you to do, stay in this position, again, and t don't start until I tell you to. Yes. When I tell you to begin, what I'd like you to do, either foot, I don't care, whichever one you feel most comfortable with. Okay. Pick up your foot. Your toe's going to be about six inches off the ground. Your leg's going to be straight, and your hands are going to be at your side, okay? Side. No, Look at no. your toe and count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on. 
until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay? Toe pointed so your foot's parallel, straight leg, arms are at your side. Looking at your toe, count out loud by 1,000s. Do you have any questions? No. Once you start the test, don't stop. Okay. Any, I'm uh, just a little bit shaky. If I'll I give you credit for being shaky. With the, I'm just like, like, anxiety. I'm a little shaky too because it's cold. So, and it's cold too. Go ahead and begin whenever you... the hot tub. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. All right. I'm ready. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000, 16,000, 17,000, 18,000, 19,000, 20,000, 21,000, 22,000. Okay, go ahead and stop. Uh, so last test is a preliminary breath test. It's not in lieu of the evidentiary test. This is a lot like blowing up a balloon. Okay. Do you know how to blow up a balloon? No. Uh, yeah, I do. You blow, we've all blown up balloons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so pretty simple. Big breath in. Lips tightly around the straw. Blow out for about two or three seconds. Okay. okay? Pretty simple. Been in trouble? Could it been an hour since I last drank? So what this does is it basically tells me that you're being honest with me, and okay. everything's happened like you said it has. This will just tell me how much you had to drink. If you've had, okay. If you waited an hour, and you're under the legal limit. That's fine. One shot and the five percent sells it. Okay. Yeah. I just want to get in trouble. I I told. Well, I don't want people to get in trouble either. Okay. Yeah. Big breath in. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Blow, 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 blow. Keep blowing. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Okay. So how old are you? I'm 21. You're 21. Do you know the legal limit for someone who's 21 years old? Um, I think it's .07. Point, point well, 0.08. close. It's .08. Do you 08. think you'd be over or under .08? I should be like. Under. I you think, think you're under? under? Okay. Yeah. And as soon as this clicks over, I'm going to show you the result, and we'll know. Okay? My concern is I can smell the odor of intoxicants coming off your breath. So it's obvious you've been drinking. It's, yeah. That's it's normal. One shot. The, the problem is, so, so here's the, that says you're a 102. So zero eight is the legal limit for someone your age. Okay? Interesting. So okay. the problem is you are under arrest right now for DUI. So I need to turn up your hands behind your back. I mean, I'm going to tell you everything we're doing along the way, okay? So nothing's a surprise. You are under arrest. Right now, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed you prior to questioning if you so desire. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not make any statements, or answer any questions. Do you understand the rights I've read to you? And we are still recording. I saw you nodding your head up and down, and you said, mm -hmm. is that a yes or a no? Okay, I'm just making double sure. Well, I'm glad nothing bad happened, like you didn't get in a wreck, or that's happened before, too. Let's do this. Well, I don't think I'm drunk with the issue, but... Well, here's the problem. You're over the, the legal limit. We make mistakes driving all the time. Okay. I'm glad the mistake wasn't the pedestrian that was in the crosswalk. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, anything crazy? You just put your pants on, so I'm assuming you don't have any firearms in your waistline or anything like that? No. Okay. Let's go over here to my, my patrol car. We have some paperwork we're going to do. We're going to get your car taken care of. We're going to make sure your passengers got away home. Let's go over here to the other side of my patrol car. Okay. So... Step to Paul 13. One in custody. Do I? Uh, so face the vehicle for me. What's going to happen? Face the vehicle. Separate your feet from me. i got to make sure you just don't have anything in your coat pocket here. Yeah, there's nothing in my pocket. I got to double check. I get in trouble if I don't. Okay. Okay. Have a seat in the car here. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. If you sit with your bottom in there, it should be nice and warm. Okay. So has your passenger had as much to drink as you? I think she had the same amount. Same amount. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a sober friend that could come pick up the car? Step to Paul 13. One in custody, DUI. Do you have a sober roommate that could come? Yes. Uh, I literally... Um, can I leave your car with your passenger? Is she okay to make sure your car gets home and a sober driver and everything? I would, pref I would prefer to drive. I mean, not drive. Um, I would prefer roommate. you didn't drive. I would prefer my roommate to drive then. Right. I, I don't want her to drive. Yeah. But can she get a hold of your roommate and everything for you? Yes. If I uh, give her my phone, which is somewhere in the front seat. Can we give her the phone number for your roommate? Yeah. Because I, I, I you probably... 
I'm going to get your phone for you. Yeah. I want to make sure you have your phone. You need it more than her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else out of the car that you need? Can I give her the keys of the car is what I'm asking? Sure. Okay. Um, what's going to happen to me? So we have to go to Pullman and do some paperwork. Okay. Uh, we might go up to the WSU station because it's a little closer. Um, either way, uh, we're going to go do that. And have you ever been arrested for DUI before? No, 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 this is my first time. Okay. Friend. I'm going to explain to you the whole pro. I'm, nothing's going to be a surprise. I'm going to tell it to you before it happens. Is this going to be on my record? Well, right now you've just been arrested. You haven't been charged and you haven't been convicted. Okay. okay. But I'm going to explain to you every step of the way what we're doing. So, let's figure out what we're going to do with your car, and we'll get that situated, then we'll get on to the next step, and I'll tell you what's going on.